be backed by gold and it's going to move, you know, a hundred quadrillion dollars. And because it's going to be backed by gold, each token is going to be backed by, you know, five, $511,000 worth of gold. Okay, that's fine if you want to believe that. Maybe it's going to be a million dollars per token, but backed by gold. The problem with this whole premise is that essentially when they do back it with gold, we're not going to own it. <laughs> it's going to be after they've taken it from us and bought it and they control it in their hands. There's no way they're backing XRP or any other coin for that matter with any any uh, collateralized assets until, until, well, in this case, really, because it's a buyback, until they have it in their hands. They're not going to, you know, back XRP with a half a million dollars in gold while we own it. Everybody would run immediately to uh, to the bank and get cash in or will go on to the exchanges and cash in all the tokens immediately. So even if that is the case where they raise the valuation of XRP in order to be able to move large amounts of money, when when that happens, we're not going to own it. So you can't say that it's worth to us half a million dollars because that won't, right now it's just fiat. It's worth nothing essentially as Virtually every other coin out there is in, in, in the universe until there are assets backing it. So uh, when they collateralize things, you know, th those are going to be the two main coins predominantly for that and as well as uh, collateralization of assets. But it's not going to be flowing all through um, all through XRP. Because, and the example I gave was if I want to buy, you know, Indus tokens, I'm not going to do it through the XRP ledger. You know, if I want to buy, uh, you know, one of the projects that we did recently, Novaz, and you know, I'm not doing it through XRP. If I want to buy, you know, commodity tokens, again, I'm not doing it through XRP. So really to say that everything is going to run through there is, is, is a, is a uh, pull it a ridiculous statement to be nice. Uh, because again, it's it, it, based on the structure. XRP is one piece of the big pie, and the majority big pieces are actually within the Stellar blockchain and the ISO 2022 coins, which are essential to the operation. So, you know, this whole thing about all the money in the world is going to flow through XRP is just, it's nonsense. Okay. Not only that, but to put up a chart, like I've seen some people do, I'm not going to name names, that said that they calculated all the money in the world. And then they divided it by the amount of tokens in XRP, and that's how they came up with the, you know, five hundred thousand dollar valuation or million dollar value. Is really, I mean, from a finance from a finance standpoint, somebody who's looking at numbers would say that that it's a bit insane, okay? Because to calculate all the money in the world, you have to know exactly how many. I'm just going to give a couple of examples. You have to know how many people there are in the world. Uh, how much money is in each country? How much new money is going to be put out when we flip to the other side? How much money people are getting back from uh, UB from UBI and from birth certificates and and uh, you know getting back their interest, the mortgage uh, mortgage interest, credit card interest? Uh, I mean, you can go on and on. What what, what will be the valuation after uh, uh, metals are revalued? Because they're going to be revalued, and that's going to change the value of the currencies as well. So, I mean, there's so many factors that are involved with, with coming up with a number like that, that it's virtually impossible to calculate that out. So, you know, to, to come up and, to, and, and place these uh, fancy charts with regards to uh, uh, all the monies in the world and all that stuff, which we'll get into later, is, is a little bit ludicrous. And... Um,